I just made my pre-workout meal. I'm gonna get this down and then head to the gym in about an hour's time, let it digest, and we have chest day today. One mango for you. One mango for you. Same, bro. Uh, we're at the gym now, um, about to take some pre-workout. Leo's got some uh, wrecked in rage from huge. Last time I had it, wasn't the best experience just because I didn't like the taste of it because we put in this other pump product, which is like strawberry flavored and I hate strawberry. So the idea of drinking something with strawberry in it made me cringe and then it just didn't digest. I'm gonna just give this one a go by itself, just the enraged, no pump, uh, no strawberry shit. And I should be good, mate. In terms of our pre-workout, we're making progress now. So hopefully we're getting in contact with the manufacturer tomorrow to get some samples, maybe. It's coming soon. We want to get it right. Wanna, we want to be able to like make sure we get the right the right one for you lot and for ourselves. If we make a good product for ourselves, then we'll be happy. And then we need to focus on like marketing. How can we actually market the product to make sure that people actually buy it? Because it's all well and good having a great product, but we also need to be able to make sure that people know we have a great product. So yeah. Yeah, that gonna, would help. It's gonna take time. This Donny right here on the Gymshark uh, website. This man right here increases the likelihood that you're gonna buy the product <laughs> by like 30% I reckon. Look at his back. How are you feeling about your show? It's weird right because I'm not actually, I've, I've realized I really don't enjoy bodybuilding that much. I really find it boring as fuck. But I committed to doing it and I want to do it and do my best. Once it's done then I've done it and I can have a full with Full sort of conclusion whether I like it or don't like it because I've gone the whole way and done the hardest parts of it I do like going to the gym I like eating good and all this stuff I don't like full-on bodybuilding where everything is so perfect and to the T because it just consumes my mind like throughout the whole day all I'm thinking about is food all I'm thinking about is like making sure I need to like train hard get my steps in mm -hmm. I don't like how much it consumes my mind although it's probably down to my perspective whether I'm allowing it to consume my mind or not when you're this committed to it it sort of has to it has to consume your mind or you won't do well I don't feel like I'm benefiting people or myself really that much so the reason you're doing it is because why why are you doing it it was mainly just documenting it for content i never really did it for my i wasn't really doing it for myself i felt like doing it for other people really but i guess doing yeah. things for other people is is indirectly you're indirectly doing it for yourself but i guess why i wanted to do that was because i wanted to have a poor impact because i know when i used to watch people's road to show series and stuff like i was like oh this is so cool it's like yeah. he's so disciplined and like on his shit like this guy is grinding like that's motivating me and like that's good I like motivating people. Yeah, but like motivating. the thing is, right? Because I don't personally love bodybuilding. I feel like I'm not. See. I'm not like oozing that out. Because yeah. that's where it comes from. It's like the whole. It's like the passion. Like if I was passionate about like camels, and I had a YouTube channel on camels, and you know that I'm like, I'm the camel guy, bro. I fucking love camels, bro. And they're in every video. I'm just like riding the camels. I'm like, he's riding them right now. He's gonna get back there, and he's gonna fucking get, give them water <laughs> yeah, bro. and food. Yeah, that's the camel guy. You can fucking feel it through the screen, his fucking <laughs> energy. So I get what you're saying. Mm. But still, I think maybe in itself, it's still uh, a good lesson. Even though you're not passionate about it, you're still fucking doing it, bro. So that in itself is probably more motivating than someone that did love it, because it's harder. You're actually putting yourself through something harder than someone that did love it. At the end of the day, it's all about your perspective. I can view it in a positive yeah, positive light, or I can view it negatively and be like, oh, it's all so difficult. And then, uh, Some people like had to fucking go out and hunt for their food and in these like poorer countries and they have to like, go and find their walk for their water bro in the morning <laughs> oh, fuck off bro motherfuckers have to do Literally that shit fuck off mate they have to do that shit and i'm out here complaining Literally, you're fucking pissing me off bro. <laughs> i'm complaining about my about my life and my problems when people have worse problems. At the end of the day, just like that, you can change your perspective on how your life's going. Oh, my face is itchy and I love it. <laughs> All right, I've just got that down. I am fucking ready to train. We're gonna go this fucking gonna crazy. This is gonna be bro. a real Ziz workout, I reckon. I reckon it's gonna this. be a big Ziz one. I reckon this might be. I'm gonna I'm gonna whack on my hard style <laughs> and I'm gonna go crazy. Big Let's motivate these motherfuckers before we get in there. You can be whoever you want to be. That's actually facts. <laughs> that's all it, it is fact. It sounds cliche because that's how like every motivational, yeah. motivational speech starts, but it's true. No, it's basically because it's basically because you can just pick whatever personality you want to have. You know how like one day you want to like have your hood up in the gym and like you're on your grind. The next day you're like, oh, like happiness and. Mm. And like let's go talk to people when like, and like life's good and sunshine walk out in the field and, and it's like off. basically you just pick whoever you want to be like the person that you are is the person that you want to be work out 
what the fuck you want in life. Mm. Work out what makes you happy and be the person that will help you move towards them goals that you want to achieve. Just be that person, bro. Just be that fucking person because you can be that person because you can be whoever you want. That's a great mindset. I always, something that motivates me is, is what I'm doing in this current moment what Leo, optimal Leo, would be doing. Like me just sitting there at my desk, oh, I've been distracted by it. What am I doing? Leo in 10 years is gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs>just finished off some cardio with 30 minutes on the stair mask. so the past like four or five days i haven't done my coach told me not to do any cardio whilst he ups my food so i was sort of just like he basically made me into a fatty for like five days that was pretty difficult i'm absolutely starving i've still got three meals left luckily so i've got loads of food for the rest of the day leo's there i don't know if you can see him but we're about to head to aldi get some food i'm gonna get some chicken and rice and then do some posing at his home gym so yeah that's the plan i'll see you when we're shopping at Aldi. Pineapple jump.
pineapple junk. Do you know what this does? This makes your um, this makes something that that, that comes out of you taste really nice. Yeah, I've heard that. It makes your semen taste nice. I actually heard that it tastes like really. Nice. I've tested it a few times, so I just like. <laughs> Come here, get that, eat it, and then just like bend over, <laughs> just like wank into my own mouth. Also, that way you're not losing out on any of your nutrients. Like you're recycling the nutrients that enter your body, and then, also, and then like you think about it. Think about what spunk is. It's actually it's the energy that you're putting out to make a whole baby, bro. So if you're if you're fucking putting that into your own mouth, that is gonna make gains, bro. How do you think I'm so big?